So this is what the lined notebook looks like. It looks like I'm just scratching the keychain, but there is definitely a protective film there. It's obviously not going to come out like this now. <laughs> it definitely gets more vibrant when you put it onto the paper. Hello everyone, today I am so excited because this vlog is all about this box behind me. I got contacted by Vogue Race to do another collaboration. This will be my second collaboration with them and I just really love their products so I really can't wait to show you all the different things that I got this time. I really wanted to include lots of different types of products in my store so I ordered a bunch of things that just aren't in my store right now. If you haven't heard of Vogue Race, they are a manufacturing company and they specialize in things like acrylic charms, washi tape sticks, because they even do things like temporary tattoos and tote bags. One of the products that I ordered was actually an acrylic pin as well. They don't do enamel pins, but I really love the look of an acrylic pin, so I'm really excited to see how they came out looking. After we unbox everything, I'm then gonna show you how to order from their website and also information about their VIP club where you can get special monthly discounts for a small price for the year. I'm so excited, let's open it. So now I have unboxed everything and I can't wait to show you all of them up close. I also want to give you an honest review about all the different products and the process to make the products. Also maybe some tips and tricks for making your own products with Vogue Grace. So for this collaboration with Vogue Grace, it was partially sponsored and then I put some of my own money into it for some of the extra products I really wanted to get. And we're gonna start with the notebooks. The notebooks was one of the main things that I really wanted to get with this order. So this is one of the designs. It's my Moon Witch. I really like how the spine came out looking and how the little sparkles are on there. And then I've got my name on the back. When you open the notebook, you have a yellow cover page there and a yellow cover page there. And then I chose lined, but you can also get plain and dotted. So this is what the lined notebook looks like. And then it also has this little ribbon here for saving your place. And that comes as the same color as the strap that you pick. I was so excited for these notebooks, but I think with this design, I may have done I don't know if maybe I did something wrong in the design process, but I don't know if you can tell, it's a little bit blurry and it looks like the image has been like enlarged a lot. What you will find when ordering anything from manufacturers, which is also something that I found when ordering my Oracle cards from a manufacturer, which wasn't Faux Grace, is that sometimes you will have to go through some product testing and you'll need to talk to your manufacturer a lot more about having a look at the design. I wanted to be really quick with this order so I didn't ask for anything like photos of the finished product or anything like that but it's something that I would highly recommend when ordering anything in bulk. It also just helps you to know exactly what your product's going to come out looking like. I did also get this design which was the main design of the notebook. I chose white for the straps for all of them just because I didn't know what color other colors would be in comparison to say if I picked pink. I didn't know if it'd be the right shade of pink if that makes sense. So this is the main notebook for the shop update and I did this design on the front with a little grid and then I did the stars again and then for the back I did these very cute clouds. This design I don't think is very pixelated or blurry or anything like that so what I'd probably do going forward is try not to have some maybe an intricate design as this one 
or like double check my design process and maybe see if something I did made it so that the image didn't end up being clear on it. I'm really happy with this notebook design, really happy with how that came out. And then again, you, with all of them, the ribbon matches the strap. So this is a little white ribbon. And then I wanted to get more of a Halloween design. For this next shop update that I'm doing, I'm going to be having Juji Cat as a character in there. It mainly centers around her, to be honest. And then I'm also having Yoshi the Vampire Cat. So this is the front of it. And then again, I did the stars. For these ones, I did like smaller stars. And then for the back, I have the bat on there. And I'm not sure about the bat. I'm not sure if it maybe looks a little bit blurry like this one does. I think because of how it's printed onto this, maybe like details don't show up as crisp as like say a sticker sheet or anything, but I still think it's really cute. And the quality of the notebook is just really, really nice. I also like that you get a decent amount of pages inside as well. These are all A6 notebooks. And then the last design that I have made is this Angel Energy one. The Angel Energy design I was actually really proud of because I hand lettered it all myself and uh, I just really was happy with how it came out looking. So you've just got a white notebook with a white strap and then you have Angel Energy on the front, you've got some pink stars on the side and then on the back it's just plain with my name. And then again the inside is exactly the same as the other notebooks. So overall I'm really really happy with these notebooks. I think in future I might not do such an intricate design like this one. This was actually a last minute ad as well. I had made up these designs specifically and then last minute I was like oh I love this moon witch so much she'd make a good notebook. <laughs> um, so I'm really glad I got that done though, just to see, because it just helps me to understand a little bit more about what I can expect from getting notebooks from Folk Race in the future. Let me know which one is your favorite. I think for me, it's out of these two, but I really love them all. For this update, I only got 10 of each. Before we have a little look at all the products in detail, I just wanted to say that by the time this video is up, all of these products you're about to see will be in my newest shop update, so go check that out. I will also have a sale on for you. Okay, so one of the other products that I got made up is a lanyard keychain, and I'm so excited for this. So I actually had two designs made up for these lanyard keychains. First design is the Yoshi the Vampire Cat which I thought was just perfect for Halloween. You can actually choose from two different lanyard lengths and I went for the shorter one just because I thought that would go nicely. You can choose different finishes as well for all of the acrylic charms. I just went for plain acrylic. I didn't have any epoxy added or any glittering or anything like that. I just did these two charms. So the first charm is Yoshi Cat. I think it's also got a protective film on top of it, so we're gonna have a look in a minute to see if we can get that off so we can see the design more clearly. And then I also got a little moon as a second charm. You can choose how many different acrylic charms you want added to it, and you can just have the one if you like. And the acrylic charms are double-sided as well. So I'm really happy with this first design. I'm so excited to put it in my shop. Again, with all of these, I did get limited amounts just to see what everything was like, basically as a test. So if you want any of these, be quick and go to my shop and grab yourself one. And then the second design was Juji Cat, of course. And I made it very like girl power themed. So if you look at the lanyard, I actually have girl power written on there. And this is how I designed the lanyard. And this is Juji Cat. And again, she also has a little moon. If you love pink like me, then this is gonna be like the perfect lanyard keychain for your set of keys. I just love it so much. Or on your bag or anything, you could just put it wherever makes you the happiest. It's just so cute. I'm really happy with how these came out looking. If we look at the crispness of the designs as well, they are really clear. So the printing on this is not something that you have to keep in mind when you're making your design. It looks like I'm just scratching the keychain, but there is definitely a protective film there. And usually for all my keychain orders, all my pendulum designs, anything acrylic that comes with the protective film, I do take off before shipping. But if you are someone who really likes to peel it off yourself, then just leave an order note at the checkout and let me know that you don't want me to remove it. 
Okay, so now that's all done, you can see the design a lot clearer and it's a lot more vibrant as well and shiny. <laughs> So if you see the scratch marks on it, that just means the protective film is on there and you just need to make sure to remove that. When I first had keychains made up, I didn't even know that the protective film was a thing. Again, let me know which one is your favourite in the comments below. I'm so excited to see which ones out of all these products you guys prefer. So the next product I had made up is the temporary tattoos. I'm so excited for these. I had Angel Energy made up because I thought these would make a super cute tattoo and I had 50 of them made up and I think the main thing we want to do now is test this out. Okay, so one thing I want to say about these tattoos before we put them on is that I might mess it up with the application process but I'm going to show you how to do it. There is also instructions on the Fogris website if you go to the temporary tattoos. So the first step is to remove the protective film layering on top, which I'm already struggling to do. I have just realized something, that if you are ordering temporary tattoos, that you will have to mirror the image, if it is, especially if it's wording, because it's obviously not going to come out like this now. I can't believe I did this, honestly. I'm still gonna put it on to show you how how to use them, but don't make that mistake. Remember to mirror it. And then once you've pressed it firmly onto your skin, you just wanna wet the back of the paper. And on Vogue's website, it says you wanna pat this for about 30 seconds. Oh, so ready, see means come off. really cool I mean obviously <laughs> obviously the writing is backwards so I completely messed up that design so these unfortunately will not be in the shop but I do really like the idea of ordering some temporary tattoos and these are not very expensive either on the Fogo's website and that just comes out looking really really nice and the color transfer is really good as well Obviously, as you can see though, that the writing isn't going to be white, it's going to be clear. But the application and everything is really, really smooth and I would highly recommend getting yourself some of these tattoos to sell in your store because they're just so cool and don't make the same mistake I did. I think also this happened because I was rushing and I was just so excited and I just want to place the order and I didn't really think about it. Okay, the next thing I want to show you are the acrylic pins. So first up is this little kitty acrylic pen and again you can see it has a protective film on it but it just says BRB sleeping. Also I just want to quickly mention that it's a good idea to work in CMYK if you can when designing your products just because it's, it's more accurate on how it's going to print. However, the products that you see today have all been, except for the washi tapes, they've all been RGB and the only thing I'm going to say in the difference of the pink that I'm noticing is that the pink is very, very vibrant in comparison to when, when I designed it. And I don't think that's a bad thing, actually. I really like how this came out looking. For the acrylic pins, you can also choose which clutch you want. And I chose this. It's listed as dark pink, but it's like a hot pink and it's a little hot. You can also get stars. They just add to your product and just make it that much cuter. So I'm gonna take off the protective film. It's really handy that they put these on as well because when the products are in the bag together, they can rub against each other and get scratched. So this really helps. And then the pin is actually gold. It also feels really nice and sturdy on there and I wanna make a bunch of pins for my shop. So this is one of the designs. And then, because <laughs> The Angel Energy I just really loved so much. I had to make it as different products as well. And I got it as a pin. The print quality is really amazing on these pins as well. With the acrylic products, you can also make it borderless by having extra bleed around the edges. Let's take off the protective film. It's so shiny. 
And again, limited amount of those in stock as well. Next up, I wanna show you the washi tapes. If you have been in my Etsy store before, you will have noticed that I do actually already sell washi tapes. And I have used Bow Grace in the past to make washi tapes. Bow Grace made my fairy, my moon fairy washi tape. And when I originally ordered this, I ordered it with circle stickers, so that's what you see on the top here. If you get it without circle stickers, it is also slightly cheaper. For these, I got them without circle stickers because I thought it might be fun to make my own as well, make my own stickers and just place them on when I need to. For these washi tapes that I had made, these ones I didn't get with circle stickers and I made my own for those. And that's similar to what I'm gonna do with these. The first design is Gigi Cat and it's got the girl power writing on it as well. And these washi tapes from Vogue Grace come with a protective film over it. And the protective film also has like this edging where you can lift it up from. I think. And because of my acrylic nails, I can't actually ever open washi tape with my nails. So I have to use this little tool which just helps me. And then this is the design. I'm so happy with how that came out. It's so cute. I'm gonna try and give you a close up, but it can be really hard with washi tape. If you've ever ordered washi tape before, then you will know that when you put it onto paper, it just becomes more vibrant. I'm really struggling to get like the detail and the camera is just not capturing like how beautifully pink it is. But I hope I can make it work in the product photos, but it's just so nice. The design is so crisp as well. There's no blurring or anything like that. Okay, so the second design that I got is Yoshi the Vampire Cat. Again, comes with the protective film and you can't really see the design as much because it's a little bit darker, but I'm going to show you now what it looks like. Also, when you work in CMYK for washi tapes, you get more of an idea of what the color you're gonna get. I think that's obviously applicable to every product you're gonna make but if you're like me just there's some things that you can't really design as nicely in CMYK or you plan to use it in your Instagram or post it online and in that case you don't really want to be using CMYK because it's not intended for screen purposes it's just intended for like printing onto products and things so some products I think well, especially for me, I struggle to make just purely in CMYK, but for washi tape designs, I definitely think it's easier to do and a good idea as well. So this is the design. We've got little bats, we've got moons, we've obviously got Yoshi Cat. And I'm gonna show you now as well how that looks on paper, because as you can see, it looks very light, like the backing looks light. I don't know if you can tell in real life, the designs of Yoshi look a little bit see-through as well. So let's have a look at what it looks like on paper. And I don't know if you can tell, but you can see it definitely gets more vibrant when you put it onto the paper. Those are the two designs next to each other. Tell me again which one is your favorite. I really can't choose. Okay, so the final product I wanna show you are these tote bags. And the tote bag quality is so, so good. I got the large design for these tote bags. And as you can see, there's no see-throughness on the tote bag at all. It's a really nice thick tote bag. So for the first design, I got this full-time daydreamer design of Gigi Cat and the detail is so crisp. We're also gonna test it out and put some things in it and see what it looks like. And then the second design, again, I got Angel Energy. The one thing to bear in mind with these tote bags is they do take slightly longer to produce. So make sure you get your order as soon as possible. And when ordering from Vogue Grace, I would always recommend to order at least, at least a month before you plan to actually have the products with you. And then the last design is this Yoshi Cat. You can see that it has a bit of the fabric on the design as well, and that's to be expected. And it says the witching hour is near. And again for these, I think I got 10 of each design. So my favorite out of these is, 
I actually can't pick. I love them all. I think I would probably go for this one. It's so hard. I would love to keep all of them. <laughs> Let me know which one your favorite is. I just had the best idea. When I was taking these items out of the bag, I was like, oh, matching. And then I had the idea that I could actually attach this to the bag. So I'm gonna do that now. Oh my gosh, okay. I don't know if you guys are like me, but I struggle so much with opening these for key rings. And this one is so easy. Like I just, I just easily put my nail in it. And usually I cannot do that. I have to get like a card or something ridiculous to try and prize it open. Yay! That looks so cute on there. I just need the moon to be the front. So pretty. Okay, this is mine. <laughs> So I just want to go over a few things with you on tips and information that you'll need to know when placing an order from Fograce. So when I said that you need to make sure to place your orders at least a month in advance, that's because Fograce is based in China. So if you are based in China, then that's absolutely not a problem at all. But say you are based in the UK like I am, then you want that extra time for the products to reach you. For this order, I placed it on the 7th of August and it was shipped out on the 9th of September. The reason it took a little bit longer is because Vograce wanted to double check some of the products and make sure that they were made properly. I didn't really mind this, I was happy to push back my shop update and I was just excited to really get my products but if you are on a deadline or anything this is just the kind of things that you should factor in. I chose express delivery for this order and it reached me on the 15th of September. So that shipping time is so so fast. However, it is more expensive to get express shipping. So if you have got that extra time, then I would highly recommend going for the cheaper option, which I think is shipping by sea. This is standard shipping. And for this, it takes eight to 20 days to arrive with you. And that's if you are based in the UK. So it might be different depending on where you are in the world. Just double check. When you're in the checkout at Vograce, you can actually go to estimated shipping fee, which will also give you an estimated time frame of how long those products that you selected will take to make up, and also how long those products will take to ship to you. Some products, when you're ordering them, don't come with proofs, but from my experience, I generally always get a proof from them, so if you're worried about not getting a proof, then put it in your order notes at the checkout. If your order includes keychains, standees, buttons, pillows, stickers, or their PVC cards, then you will automatically get a proof if you've ordered over 10 items. But if you're worried about this, like I said, just add this as a note or email them to ask for the proofs and they will be more than happy to do that for you. If, like me, you have a very slight issue with any of the products that are made, then you can contact Vograce as well. They have a 60-day worry-free shopping service. Within those 60 days, if there's anything wrong with your order, you can contact them and they can sort it out for you. The staff at Vograce are always so helpful and they are always so lovely. I just love working with them. So now I want to talk a little bit more about what Vograce offers in their shop and also how to go about placing your own order. Vograce will have a monthly discount activity and what that means is in that month, at some point they will have a 20% off on their products. However, if you are VIP, you actually get 26% off. Vograce VIP is $39.90 currently for 2023. That is one price that you pay and then you get a monthly code you get the monthly discount activity code for the 26% off, but you also get a multiple use discount code of 8%. This means you have unlimited use of this code. With VIP as well, you also can receive a free sample pack. With the free sample pack, shipping is not included, but you do get the free sample if you do wanna check any of the products that you're going to be ordering. They have the standard products that you would expect to see from a manufacturer like stickers, washi tapes, they also do acrylic sandies, notebooks, pillowcases, lanyards, fridge magnets, tote bags, binder clips, business cards, phone holders, and of course temporary tattoos. They have a variety of options for keychains with options like I mentioned before like epoxy. They also do some holographic options as well. 
For the actual keyring part, they offer lots of different designs. You obviously have the standard design, but you also get things such as hearts, bats, stars, moons. There are so many different options to customize your keychain exactly how you want it. With all the products that you order on Vogue Race, what you'll notice as well is the more products you order, usually the more discount you will receive. If you scroll down on the product that you're looking at, you will see a chart of all the different quantities and the percentage that you will get off of those quantities. Codes work on top of this discount as well, which for me personally is something that really draws me in. Keep in mind when you are ordering, say, acrylic charms from them, if your acrylic charm has writing on it, usually what they'll do is double-sided same design. So when you are going to look at that, you may need to choose double-sided different design. This stops your writing from becoming mirrored and having something like this happen on your keychain. You can actually have it a different image on the back and it can have the writing how you would read it normally. They have so many tips on how to make your products within each product page. So what I'd recommend when placing your order or when looking at the products that you wanna order, make sure you thoroughly read the page and you have all the information before placing your order just to avoid any any unhappiness with your products. But like I said, Vogue Race are so helpful and so nice, so if there are any issues, be sure to contact them. The one thing that I personally really love about Vogue Race is the fact that they do new arrivals every month. And for the first three months, you can get a 15% discount on those new arrivals as well. One thing they have recently added is tarot cards as well, which is so exciting. When I placed my order, the new arrivals were the acrylic pins. The new arrival for September is custom removable vinyl stickers. They also recently added shaker keychains to their shop as well, which look amazing, as well as PVC hand fans. The fun thing about using Vogue Race as your manufacturer is that they are constantly improving and constantly adding to all the different options they have available to you as a small business or even if you're not a small business and you just want to get some stuff made up for yourself then they are the perfect place to do this with. So I'm going to quickly show you how to place an order and for this I'm going to use the acrylic pins product to show you the process of how you will customize the details for your product before adding it to your cart. So with all the products you will notice at the top of the page you will have a price point which is per item and doesn't include shipping. You also have all the photos down the left hand side showing you all the information about the product that you're ordering and you can see in detail how it's going to look. You also have a review section which is incredibly helpful to have a look through and to see other people's experiences with those products. Sometimes people will also add photos to their reviews which is helpful to see how your item could come out looking as well. Then for the acrylic pin, you can choose what kind of technique you want with it. For the acrylic pin, there are so many options. One of my favorite acrylic finishes is glitter epoxy. And you can see that when you select a different finish, the price will change to reflect that. You can also choose a variety of sizes for your acrylic pin. One important thing to remember, if you're purchasing a batch of one product but you want multiple designs, Vogue Race will happily do this for you. And to do this, you basically need to compress the different design files that you have into a zip file and upload that as your file type just before you're adding that product to your car. Be sure to name each different file design before compressing it to reflect the design number and how many pieces you would like to order of that specific design. Then you can go ahead and add this to your cart. It will give you a total amount. For me and my browser, it takes a minute to load in the discount, so just give it a minute to update. And then from here, you can continue to add products that you'd like to your cart. The shipping fee will change depending on all the products that you've ordered because it goes based on weight, I think. So you can check this throughout placing the products in your order to see what you're most happy with and most comfortable with. You can also configure your items in your basket and change it around so that if it's too expensive to have 50, you can maybe drop the product down to 30 items or something like that. 
or similarly if it makes sense to order more and you get a bigger discount for it you can configure this as well. Vogue Race is very good on their website of letting you know how much more you can order to keep the shipping price the same, how much more you can order to get a higher discount. So when you're ordering just really pay attention to all the different notes and things Okay, so now what I need to do is just quality check everything in a little bit more detail. Then if I have any issues, I'm going to go back to my contact with Fograce and let them know. And then after this, after I've sorted out all of those things, I'm then going to do some product photos, which I'm so excited for. And I'm a little bit nervous for as well, because today is like a very gloomy day and we have officially, I feel like, entered autumn here. I don't think it's going to be like bright and sunny anymore, which makes me sad, but I know a lot of people are probably happy about this. So I'm a little bit nervous about how the product photos are going to come out looking, but I'm really hoping they're going to be good. Okay, I just want to show you the actual usage of the tote bag. So I can't really get it into the entire frame because it's quite a large tote bag. It's not a super large tote bag, but I feel like it's the right size for me, especially for my orders. I think it's just a really good size tote bag. I don't actually know what to put in it. So <laughs> I just wanted to show you like its usage. And um, so these are A5 coloring books and that's that in there as you can see there's plenty more space if I get my <laughs> printer paper this is a4 size and if you see that it's still it's completely covered by the bag I'm really happy with these they make me so happy I can't wait to go send some orders now and just use my tote bag <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If you got to the end of this video, I love you so, so much. I hope this also helps you in figuring out what you wanna make for your own small business or for yourself. Gives you more of an idea of the quality of all the products and also the range of all the different products that you can get. I absolutely love all of these products so much and I cannot wait to order more. In the next vlog, I'm gonna show you how I take my product photos for all of these items that you have seen today. And I'm going to be packaging up a bunch of orders with you. I recently did like a pre-shop update shop update and I added a bunch of stickers and sticker packs and loads of different things that I had just not gotten around to making for my shop. So hopefully in the next video we can make some of those products together which I'm so excited for. I already had a bunch of orders for this pre-shop update shop update and it's so nice to see that you all really love the products that I made because I worked so hard and I just love making you guys happy with them. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.